Okay, so nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah, we'd like to um, to know something about this third edition of ProVine. Yeah. As you said, ProVine has a third edition. Uh, we started, of course, small. Meanwhile, uh, we uh, uh, could manage to to have uh, four thousand, uh, five thousand four hundred exhibitors at the show. Uh, on some 50,000 visitors are coming to the ProVine in the three days. And what's for us the most important fact about the ProVine is that it's a, uh, it is a truly international show. So it's, it's uh, only not even 20% of our exhibitors are from Germany, but 80%, over 80%, they are from, from overseas and in Europe, of course, uh, uh, Asia, Australia, South America, North America, South Africa. And um, that makes a huge difference uh, also to the other wine shows worldwide because they are mainly national driven shows where you have a, a small selection of international exhibitors as well. But no, nowhere else in the world you have this a truly international feeling also in the halls when you go there. So we had long discussions over the years with the German winemakers because they, their demand of course was to say, hey, Pro Wine should be a German show, our show, yeah, but, but uh, uh, we said it is more relevant to you, German winemakers, if we, together with the international exhibitors, gain uh, the, the same number of um, international visitors to, to Sudorf, due to the fact that the whole world is exhibiting. And they understood. And, and today uh, we have the result that it's not only on the exhibitor side, uh, truly international, but also on the visitor side. We have visitors from all over the world, and that that is a benefit, of course, for our exhibitors. And what are the trends of this, uh, this edition of Hawaii? The trend uh, still is, uh, since two or three years, uh, it is uh, low alcohol and zero alcohol, and meanwhile, uh, we also have some, some hundred uh, uh, winemakers who offer a zero alcohol. It started also as a, as a small trend, and uh, to be honest, I, I had my doubts about <laughs> and, uh, it. Uh, it is, uh, uh, it, it makes sense to, to very many people, especially, and that is, uh, to me, it was an interesting argument, uh, that um, some people do say it's very good for, for bringing young people to the wine. Yeah, because as a teenager they come from lemonade or maybe have their first beer or so. Uh, but then over the uh, low alcohol and zero alcohol wines, um, that that is their entry to, to the to the wonderful world of wines at all. And that I uh, I found that very interesting as a good argument. Uh, to to increase uh, the trends and the offering zero and low alcohol wines. Yes, because these trends grew up in the, in the world, around the world. Absolutely. Yes. But for wine is, uh, I think that it was first fair in 2021 that offered this area. Yeah, mm. yeah, we did. Yeah. Yes. And I thought, but it was astonishing <laughs> <laughs> during that time to me. Yes. It, uh, how does Provino respond to this uh, a new trend like, for example, uh, the spirits? Because uh, in Provino we have um, a great uh, hall for, for yeah. only for producer of spirits. Yeah, that is actually a result of uh, the fact we had the spirits all the time. But it was, uh, it was all over the Provino and there, there was no special section. There were some winemakers, Italian winemakers, brought their grappa, for example, yeah, or or some some French winemakers had a had a brandy as well with them on their stand. And uh, after a while, uh, we we could create some sections uh, where we had some Irish uh, joint stand with with whiskey manufacturers, for example, and so. Uh, this year we felt uh, uh, that it would be very sensible uh, to create one uh, dedicated hall known as Pro Spirits, uh, logically, 
and uh, to put all the spirits in there. And it is also an answer to this rising trend of, um, of, of bar culture. We have in Germany as well as in, in, in Europe at the moment, I know it from Asia, there's a strong bar culture as well. And um, so that is a complete new target group for us on the visitor side, uh, the, the, the bartenders that, that they would could meet here in Düsseldorf. And uh, we, we start with the, with the Pro Spirits, have um, uh, over 400 exhibitors, 300 exhibitors in the uh, Pro Spirits Hall, and 120 uh, exhibitors in the same but different hall, which is Spirits as well. And, and so that is a, a good offering. And it, it, in a way, it is the biggest spirits show in the world. <laughs> Another time is very important for us. How does um, Provine uh, um, support the sustainability in mm. this wine industry? Um, we, we, we have for a couple of years already a small section uh, with, with design and technology all around the, the, the production of, of wines, bottles, or, or uh, closer, closures. And um, so in, in that section, uh, we have in this year uh, the trend of light bottles. Yeah, that, that, that uh, the average bottle used to, uh, to have uh, 750 grams uh, weight. And uh, the glass uh, industry is now able uh, to have some some uh, glass bottles with a weight of uh, almost 300 grams, and that is of course a huge improvement. At the same moment, uh, there's, it's also possible to have bottles uh, completely out of, of stainless steel, uh, aluminium, as, as we have it, and uh, that's of course a, a strong factor when it comes to the transportation of wine over longer distances, yeah? not only on street, but also on, on, on container ships and so. And as uh, it is very cost intense, it, it, it makes a good sense to, to work on that issue that the transportation uh, gets cheaper. And the last question for you, which is the vision by Provines to, to the future of the wines market and the sector of events in the world? Well, yeah, I'm, we have to react on the market. Uh, as at the at the moment, uh, there is a, a, a difficult situation for the wine industry because uh, uh, on the, on one side you have all the issues around the climate change, and and the winemakers uh, have to have to work on, under different conditions, and uh, that is the influence of on my pro production process. And at the same, uh, same time, we also have the issue that in, in post-corona, there still is uh, a, at the moment a tendency in Europe uh, that the, that the consumer are drinking less wines than before. Mm -hmm. So the, the average German wine uh, uh, drinker drinks uh, one bottle a year less than uh, before 2020. And that makes a huge difference uh, to, of, of, the, of the wine. And um, that uh, has an influence on, on our business as well. We always say that the, the trade shows are the, are the mirror of the, of the market. So we, we cannot influence the market, but the market is, is uh, having its uh, factors and we only can react on, on that. And at the, when, when we have a situation like we have at the moment is of course that producers of wine, they're coming here and, and it is most important for them that, that we can create an atmosphere and, and a international setup, international visitors coming to the pro wine and hopefully they, they order uh, large volumes uh, and on our on our winemakers who are exhibiting. So, so it, it's, it's always a very important role that uh, the pro wine has uh, for the industry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.